Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Gemini. Welcome, Geminis. So I am doing a reading for the general energy around Gemini and not one specific person's energies. If you would like a reading, wow. If you would like a reading where I tune into your specific energies, uh, feel free to schedule your own appointment with me. Uh, the link is in the description box below. So Gemini's, wow. Um, also, because this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make something fit. Um, right out of the bat, these are all um, major arcana cards. So it's something going on in the collective lately where uh, it, it feels like a lot is coming up to be cleared, very core issues. So Gemini, in the past, you were in the energy of throat chakra. So throat chakra is right here. It's our communication. All right, there's something in the past, um, a betrayal that you were recovering from feels like this betrayal um I feel like you were stuck before the betrayal you felt stuck and you felt stuck after the betrayal it it feels like as this this being stuck in a connection where you were very bored and nothing was happening that you felt like, and maybe there were like a lot of lost opportunities. That this connection that you were in where you were betrayed, you felt like it was a bad investment. I'm also getting that your, your self-esteem got a, a hit. Again, betrayal, deception, someone being tricky. I'm trying to get away with something, maybe even trying to steal something from you. Or maybe you were trying to steal something from someone else. feel like whoever was doing the betrayal, if they, um, they would be so ashamed if they, if people saw what they were doing. I get that they are so sneaky. Maybe the during this connection and before the betrayal and sneakiness, there was something that you were working on and you were mastering some type of skill, a passion, something that you're really interested in. Maybe by working kind of um, kept you distracted from having to see the truth about this connection. Feels like you since this is about communication in the past, it doesn't feel like you were, you felt safe to communicate 
when your disappointment, it, it didn't feel safe to to say how you're feeling, to point this out to the person. So there's this closing down of the throat chakra of um, not communicating, avoiding conflict at all costs, even at your own cost. Maybe this person was so punishing whenever you pointed out anything that they, they did that was displeasing or that you just wanted to bring to the light of day, they made it so difficult. It feels like there, there was a lot of ego issues. And from their ego's point of view, if you see something about them that's less than perfect, then their ego couldn't take it made them feel like they were dying, like an ego death. And then they would just get so mean. It feels like you created some degree of acceptance and are moving on from whatever this connection was. That you're learning how to find peace, like real peace not shutting yourself off from the world and hardening your heart, but finding out how to take what's happened in your past and the difficulties and create um, a sense of self-awareness and become more you so gemini in present time you are in the energy of embrace feels like you are opening up to who you are opening up to maybe making larger connections, connecting, connecting with yourself, connecting with your higher self, connecting with your divine self, connecting with multi-dimensional aspects of yourself, connecting with the earth, connecting with the stars. Some of you might feel like you're a star seed. Maybe you have some type of connection to Orion, Sirius, Pleiades, Arcturians. Maybe you're you're opening up and expanding your definition of who you are. Maybe at times that's very confusing to be more than, than a 3D person in a, a limited storyline. Maybe you're also opening up to some gifts, abilities, new new ways of seeing things, new ways of sensing things you're getting very clear clear minded your your clear clear communication you're setting boundaries it 
feels like whatever you've gone through it in life, it's created um I get the sense that others can't um, project their limitations on you as easily as they could before. You're less emotionally manipulated. You might be less pleasing as in like just trying to please everyone. You might be having difficulty sleeping. Maybe the uncomfortable emotions that you are trying to avoid feeling during the day through escaping distractions, staying busy. At night, they, your mind is racing and stuck in a storyline of thoughts. Your emotions come up to be dealt with at night. In the darkness, your your fear and pain and despair comes up. Maybe still, maybe you're still trying to process this relationship in the past, this very deceptive relationship that was very painful, where there was betrayal. Maybe you're trying to figure out what to do with these difficult emotions. I'm feeling grief. I'm feeling a lot of tension around the shoulders. The grief feels like it's in the back of my heart space, so it's on its way out. But there's still grief and loss. Do you use that time at night to try to figure out what happened in this connection? Do you think about the unfairness of it and it just gets your blood boiling and then you can't sleep? It feels like you've been working on loving yourself, how to heal your connection here with yourself. This might have, um, and again, that broken communication is coming out. Maybe this relationship in the past, this connection in the past made you very distrustful not just of others who are deceptive and betray and behave in a very tricky strategic way, but because you were attracted in some way, loving staying around and with this connection, there's a, a distrust of yourself. How can I trust myself? 
that I'm, I'm not going to invite the same type of energy into my space. That's like a, a learning how to heal and trust yourself again. Because you, you have access to a rebirth, success, joy, warmth, positivity. All right, Jim and I, your higher self is in your heart chakra. Right here, heart chakra. Your heart chakra deals with you, personally, you. It's, you've got three chakras above and three chakras above, below. There are more chakras than just those, but they're typically seven basic chakras. The heart chakra is the bridge between the higher chakras and the lower chakras. The heart chakra is you, the embodiment of who you are. With each heartbeat, you send out a signal to the world of who you are, like waves, energetic waves, like a marker, here I am. It feels like you're exhausted and overwhelmed defensive your confidence might have feel destroyed defeated you are not whatever happened here in this connection Maybe you're ready for a switch in your perception, a shift. Maybe instead of telling the story to yourself over and over again, and telling, talking to others about how you were wronged and, and what happened and Instead of kicking the wheel of that, maybe you're ready to ask the question, like, how can I become, how can I, how can I allow this situation, this painful situation to wake me up? How can I allow difficult situations in my life to not break me, but wake me up. What is it that I need to know so I can become more me? How can I heal my heart? How can I let go of negative self-talk? How can I release the pain and forgive and recover and move on from this? How can I let go of my ego and, and be with these really uncomfortable emotions that were created by this situation? Your challenge right now, Gemini, is to observe. I feel like that's what I was just talking about, like seeing something from a different point of view, seeing yourself from a different point of view. Instead of being so solid in a storyline, 
and so righteous. Maybe that's one way of one layer. Is there a, a is there a bigger, broader point of view that you you might be missing by being in that storyline? Does being the victim to this person and this situation give your power away constantly to this connection, like giving your power to this connection instead of taking your power back and, and saying, how, how can I grow from this? How can I take responsibility for my part in it? Because then I, I own that. I can't control what happens out here, but I can control, I can, I can work with myself. That's where my power is, working with my own energy in present time. How can I create the harmony and alignment and fulfillment and contentment. I feel like there's a, a call to let go of the storyline and open up to just being in present time with the difficult emotions that were created by this. The more you just sit with those emotions and feel where they are without needing to escape or fix or change creates a, a type of bravery. Tuning into the fear in your space and, and sitting with your fear, becoming friends with the uncomfortable emotions getting close and comfortable with that sadness. And as you allow those emotions to release instead of holding on to them and carrying them with you and adding momentum to the story, instead of adding momentum to the story, you're, you're clearing those difficult emotions and creating space for love and harmony. Vibration first and then, not trying to change out here and then I'll feel good. Once my environment changes, then I'll be happy. There's First, you have to shift your vibration and change your energy within, and then the reflection in the 3D world starts to change to support that. Your, your challenge is <laughs> the 10 and nine of cups. Your challenge is to allow to intend to heal, to allow blessings and satisfaction and gratitude and wishes and harmony to come in. A lot of times um, when I know when I go through really painful emotions, I get very defensive, like I can't take anything else and I wall off maybe even Literally, like, I don't want to take phone calls. I don't want to talk to anybody. I guard and armor my heart. And that might be a, a temporary strategy. But if you, if you keep that armor up, if you keep people out, then you might stop difficult emotions 
more difficult experiences from coming in, but you're also blocking blessings from coming in. And that's what I'm getting is Gemini, you have access to a lot of blessings in your life. Once you sit with yourself and, and take the time to feel these emotions that you, you might be avoiding feeling, find a bravery within yourself to stay, to stay despite the fear, to stay in the present time with the, the hurt, the grief, the loss. Get curious about those emotions. How they make your body feel. How when they're really intense, it's hard to even breathe. And as you allow those emotions to move through you and be cleared, then you create space, an opening, a softening, an opening so you can not only you, you'll have a, a new sense of bravery when difficult emotions arise, you're like, ooh, I'm friends with fear. I'm not afraid of fear. I know the texture and quality of different kinds of fear and it makes you brave brave within here and brave out there and by not blockading your heart and armoring your heart you you also create the space so blessings can come in and i feel that that's what you're really wanting so all right gemini i hope this was helpful Thank you for sharing your energy. Bye.